Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would bring you along with me for a very homeschool day in the life. Really of course being homeschool focused so I'm going to take you along with us as we do our homeschool this morning. And I'm also probably going to be doing kind of like an August recap and some goals that we are going to be doing in September when it comes specifically for our homeschool. Kind of how it's going overall so far since we have been back. at Probably this is our third or fourth? Oh, no actually it's our fourth week back to school which is crazy. Anyway that is what we're going to be doing today I'm gonna to go grab the kiddos and we'll begin our homeschool morning. Ellie let's go grab Oliver. Give Oliver the yellow bug one. Here you go. Do you need your bottle honey? Okay. You can look see, yeah, see how many pages you have to do and then you can pick which one. Hey Maddie do we need your bottle? Just go ahead and start doing your handwriting practice and then let me know when you're ready to read the sentences down here okay? All right, Maddie. Oh. I'm gonna go fill up the bottle. <laughs> Looking for it. All right, let's fill it up. Go get started with school. Comes the shapes. Circle. <laughs> rectangle. Circle all the ones in that group. Hi. What shape is the domino? On these pictures up here, you're going to be marking the vowels. So you have if or iguana, that's IV, so a long I. If or iguana is a short I. Next, we have a puff I. What vowel is in puff I? Puff I. Long I. Good job. Uh, Wonderful. Good job. What? what? and we're going to work on our letters. An mm. um, N, O, an E. Let's turn this over. An E. O. An O. You're right. That's an O. What was this one? Do you remember this one up here? An R. You ready for your sight words? A D. Where's the O? Alright, so we have a Bible. minute break right now between subjects. Typically I do like to do that five to ten minutes in between either math and reading or especially reading and language arts because their little brains work pretty hard when it comes to reading the big chapters or doing the language arts. And because our curriculum that we are using is a little bit workbook heavy, I don't like doing one subject next after the next if that makes sense. So I always like to give them a break and <laughs> I know they appreciate it too. What do you guys color in? I love the heart. That's yeah, beautiful. No, be a heart. It's a beautiful heart. I agree. A big heart. 
that big heart. It's a big, big, is it big, big? This is typically what our table looks like during school, isn't it? Yeah. Between all the fun coloring. Uh oh, getting on pie Yes. puzzle pieces that way the whole puzzle is complete. So Amy says uh, help please, help please. Uh, Good job. Uh, Beautiful flower. Where does yeah, come see mommy? What's the matter? <laughs> oh, I know. Are we ready for it? Okay. She might just want to sit. Thank you. Okay Oliver. So we're gonna make two new words from each of the words below by adding E-R or E-S-T. <laughs> What was this one? Cuff. Good job. Or, um, long O. While you're doing that, I'm going to clean up the first batch of messes here. <laughs> do, you, do you need more water? Yeah. Yes, please. on another five minute break before we finish our last subjects. My son has his big story of the day to read and typically right before he sits down and reads that I like to give him a little bit of a break that way he has an easier time concentrating. So he's on the break and then my daughter also is on like a five ten minute break here uh, before we move on to math. I'm probably going to go ahead and get lunch started that way I can be cooking while they're finishing up the last subjects because it'll be well into lunch time here. As you've seen up to this point, it has been quite the morning. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a longer morning, um, but I also wanted to kind of show you and leave in. Yes, honey? Yes. A lot of the actual kind of naturally happening throughout the day, like non-edited version of our homeschool morning, even though it's obviously going to be edited because I'm not going to make like a two-hour video. Careful, Millie. Careful. But I did want to leave in some of the actual real-life things that that make our homeschool mornings. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get lunch started and then we'll come back out here and finish up. Okay. Okay, it's lost. We'll up here. We lost it yesterday. So we just finished up our school morning, or I guess you could call it an early afternoon as well. It's actually almost 2 p.m. We finished up around 1.30. Again, we did the two subjects, took a break for lunch, and then did our third one. Now, on some days in the afternoon, I will have like a two-hour window where I will then get some housework done. I'll get some projects done. The kiddos will normally free play either outside or they'll do activities and stuff inside depending on what the weather it is. It's actually really hot today, which is kind of surprising that I'm drinking hot coffee out here but it is actually really warm so there'll probably be some water play this afternoon today was long overall just like talking about day today specifically typically it depends on the day and every day is going to be different that's why I wanted to share another look at a homeschool kind of day in a life because a lot of the times even our homeschool mornings you know they go from two two and a half hours but then I'm editing the video down to about a 10 to 15 minute video. So I'm cutting out like most everything when it comes to you guys watching my day in the lives. And my husband says, oh, I should just go live sometime and actually like give you a real life look at it. And I think when I eventually get brave enough, I'll do that. <laughs> But for today, I did want to leave in a lot of the parts where, you know, we're just very real life and really just like really what the days look like. But today was actually a little bit longer than what they normally are just because there is a lot of little accidents or a lot of little, just little busy happening. And it doesn't really make the day bad by any means as far as our homeschool morning, but it does make it a little bit harder. And I think that's okay that some days are going to be a little bit harder, especially when you have, you know, you're homeschooling with a baby and a toddler and you know, in the moment there when I'm teaching two little ones to read at the same time or juggling back and forth. I have learned, however, when it comes to teaching my little ones reading specifically, 
to just work on to just rotate subjects so while I'm working on math with one I'll be working on reading with the other and then swapping that way not both subjects are intensive at the same time and that has helped me a lot but then there was also quite a few moments today where I had to think not before I spoke but think of how I was going to sound so it's not necessarily what is said it's how we say it especially as mamas to our little ones when we are in a very high stress moment <laughs> when it comes to you know everyone need a mommy at the same time and everything like that but overall again it went really really well it was not a bad morning it was just a little bit of a longer one and definitely what I consider to be a little bit of a harder day anyway with all that being said I am going to go ahead and head inside finish getting the kids ready and we will move on to the next part of the day yeah you want to go see grandma and the it's a cobbler Trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give up I'm gonna let the sun shine in today And I will be gone All things I can So far I can Starts to fade, feels like things are gonna go my way. 